And me going, I the road became rough. Others went back. I had nothing to go back to. For me, it was success is ahead of me, or you go back to what you already know that you are not happy with. I kept going, and today the rest is history. Wow, that is uh, that's an amazing story. Yeah, honestly, very, very amazing. You no, know, from the from the time that I met you, I would have never imagined that. <laughs> you know, and and my family, I don't know if you know this, but my family has a Nigerian background. Um, oh wow! Yeah, um, my my aunt and uncle are appointed chiefs, and uh, my son, my youngest son, I named him. Uh, I gave him a Nigerian name because we I did before I knew uh, that we had Nigerian blood. None of us had Nigerian names except those who chose to change their name. So my youngest son, his name wow. is, his his name is Ajani. Ajani. Yep. And, uh, you know, what's what's unique about that is I found out that my family is Yoruba. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> West of Nigeria. Yes, sir. So, um, and and uh, one of the things I wanted to touch base on, you, you brought up a little bit about Kamari Usman. Now, what do you think about Kamari Usman and... and uh, Irasanya and, and these guys in the UFC who are representing uh, Nigeria now? Uh, the good thing is they grew up in Nigeria and they know uh, they came with the Nigeria mentality. You see, back home in Nigeria, when we were growing up in the hood or growing up poor, there were a lot of fist fights in the hood where there is always a bully that beat up the weaker one, and if you run home and you tell your parents, he beat me up, they're going to ask you, is he your age? Is he in your age bracket? Yes. Does he have two hands like you? Yes. They forced you to take a stand. Mm -hmm. And that if you got beat once or twice, realizing you can't go back home, tell your parents to save you, you stood your ground. And that mentality goes a long way. That when they fight, they fight for a reason. 